it must be the CPU. Look at all this data. Ah, uh, it hurts my eyes. Watch out, Timmy. It's the central mainframe. And it has Chester and AJ. You must be the irritating kid I've been stealing in my code. I hate that stuffy, blocked up feeling. And I hate kids. What do I do now? Confuse it by humming brass band songs. Or shoot it with your data-eating doom discs. Don't <laughs> Timmy? Yeah! Can't wait for the sequel! Round we won! Well done, Timmy! You did great! Yeah! And we found more pages of the route! I feel more magical already! Quit waste this time, sweetie! Yeah! And put the oomph in it! I don't know what's making those sounds, but it won't stand a chance against... Our new Central Stink Seeking Fragrance Bomb! Oh, they sound cool! In a domestic kind of way! Oh! You look so handsome when you do the housework. She always tries telling me that, but I don't believe her. Ha! I'd like to see that that thing out there frighten me now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Springtime fresh winter white. And you know on slightly giant germs. I haven't felt this clean in years. And we managed to win some pages of the rules. Who'd have thought? We got a super strong villain making a getaway with the contents of Cincinnati Bay. I need to pursue him at high speed. High speed pursuit. Nevertheless, your heroism stops here. Justice will never rest you, you tensile-wielding floozy! We'll see. You have two choices, Cleft. Join me, or become a patty beneath my mighty spatula. In your dreams, you'll never corrupt Chen Power! I'll flatten you! <laughs>
on the skill of the boy Chin Wonder. These powers shouldn't be in the hands of villains. It's all Vicky's fault. We should arrest her. Chin speed is safely back where it belongs. <laughs> or maybe not so safely. So, Chin, may I call you Chin? You certainly may, Anchorman, but don't talk to me. As we stand here on this historic day, Fair <laughs> Cincinnati safe once more, and its dedicated protector, me, once more restored to his shining peak of chinhood. We have but one brave sidekick to thank. Congratulations, Clef, faithful boy chin wonder. Thanks to your heroic efforts, these fine people are safe once more. Wow! Clef, how did you do it? Why did you do it? What did you do? Well, you see, my babysitter stole the Chin's superpowers because my godparents lost their magic powers. So then I came into the comic book to try and help and also find pages of the rose. And, uh, I'm sorry. I must have taken a blow to my head during the fight. What I mean is, with one mighty leap, our hero was free. 
sky. Ah, there you are, Clef. Being Clef is fun. But I feel like being ordinary, mild-mannered Jimmy Turner for a while. Can you fix it? Sure thing, hon. Ah, the magic wore off. I was just getting used to it. Wow, look at all these merit badges. There must be billions. Maybe not, hon, but there sure are lots. And they're all packed with wish power. Oh, it's a shame we can't suck some of it off with a bendy straw. Vicky must have wished for them, but why? I heard her wish. Let me think. What did she wish for? There's no way that Squirrely Scouts are better than Cream Puffs, especially when the Cream Puffs are under my control. I just wish I had the badges to prove it. That's it. These badges are the source of Vicky's power. She only has control of the cream puffs because of these wish-charged merit badges. She obviously doesn't know that the value of a merit badge lies in the fun of learning new skills rather than in showing off to others. Wow, who'd have thought there'd be a moral to this madness? The more badges Vicky has, the more power she has. How can we break the wish? I hear something. Oh, no, it's Vicky. Twerp. That's it. You're mine. My badges. My beautiful badges! No! Jimmy Turner! Uh-oh, maybe I better run away now. Oh no, she's gonna catch me! Big Lab, she might catch you, but tomorrow's not a cool day. So keep running. Don't forget to avoid or jump over stuff. should have been terrified of my book-based bad luck. I'm not scared of your books or your luck. Prepare to be magnetronolated. Let that Abby fairy have it, Timmy. No, keep it for yourself and use it. Oh, I see. Sorry.
changes of the rules. And now everything is great, and we get to have fun and go on sides of each cake. Silence! <laughs> is it okay if I talk? Oh, of course, Your Honor. I was only talking to these sniveling worms. Timmy Turner, Cosmo and Wanda, you have recovered all but one of the pages of the rules. But I thought we got them all. All except the table of contents page. And according to very legal statute, 3,483,707 subsection CZA, paragraph one and a quarter, that one page is all Vicky needs to keep Cosmo and Wanda's wish powers. There must be a way for Timmy to appeal. But Timmy's appealing to everybody. Your only chance to avoid losing your fairy licenses forever is to take the ultimate challenge. All right, I'll do it. Very well. Take it away, Jorgen. Silence! Round the Good evening and welcome to the ultimate challenge. Tonight on the show, this puny weakling will attempt to restore the powers and fairy license of his godparents. Now you may cheer! Your name is the Timmy Turner. The only way to emerge victorious is to make your opponent say, I wish I never took the book from Timmy. This will require you to activate the magic speech tiles in the arena. However, I doubt a weakling such as yourself will be able to manage this task. This is your ultimate challenge! And now, let us meet your opponent and arch nemesis, Vicky! Cool! I want TV! For legal reasons, Vicky will not be able to hear anything that any fairy says, and will be supplied with a free mind wipe after the show. Hey, Timmy, it'll be easy with our help. And to ensure this is the ultimate challenge, Vicky will be turned into a dragon. Makes my butt look a little big, though. Begin the ultimate challenge! The ultimate challenge is brought to you by Snuffman Magic Wands, the ultimate one for the ultimate fairy. I'm gonna stop you, Flash! Twerp! Try and trick Vicky into pounding those funny-looking tiles, sweetie! Uh, you have to get her to say, I wish I never took the book from Timmy! You have beaten the ultimate challenge! 
Next time on the Ultimate Challenge, I will personally defeat 402 ogres using only my gigantic ego. You will watch it now. I mean, then. Is everything fixed? Can I wish again? Let's find out! Go ahead, punk. Make a wish. I wish I had cake. And I wish I was a cake. All is well with the world. Cosmo and I have our wish powers back. We got the rules back! And I have cake. Nothing could be sweeter. Who are you talking to, twerp? I heard voices. <sighs> I was having a wonderful dream. I was on a game show and I was trying to crush you flatter than a pancake. No one here, Vicky. See? Ah, there's my book. <laughs> Timmy, we're home. We didn't have loads of fun this weekend, honestly. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 I, I think I swallowed something. Time to get paid, twerp. See you around, loser. Phew, that was a close one. Everything's back to normal at last. Took a little longer than usual this time. And no moral or anything. It just goes to show you there's nothing three friends can't sort out if they work together. You just had to do it, didn't you? Why am I laughing? <laughs> 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 <laughs>